Hey everybody, this is tutorial one regarding creating a smart art in Word. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a new blank document so that way we can start our assignment. We're going to create a header first. So right there we're gonna do the right alignment, type in our name. For this example, I am Jason Smith. So once I enter in our header and then make sure to include the correct uh, course or class name we're going to middle align ourselves and do the most important part of this tutorial go to insert and then smart art as you can see I'm circling it right there smart art has a lot of options list processes cycle etc but what we need is a pyramid for this assignment right here we could see we can do a list pyramid an inverted pyramid basic and segmented you can preview each just by clicking on them and then double click to insert or press OK. So once we press OK, we get this little funny menu. On the left hand side, we have these bullet points. Each bullet point represents a chunk of a pyramid. So the text in the brackets represents what will actually be placed there. So for example, I put test, test and test. The more I press enter and type in test, the more chunks appear for that pyramid, the more levels. So what we're going to do for this example is we're going to just say this pyramid is supposed to rank numbers. So the more or the bigger the numbers are, the bigger chunk they have. So I'm going to delete all those bottom layers so that way I can simply just press enter and then go down. So that way it makes it a little bit simple, simpler on me. So from there, we're just going to create just a simple pyramid. And then boom, got 100, and we got to get rid of that bottom layer. So I just move down and press backspace, and that deletes it. So now that you look on the design tab, once we've selected our pyramid, we can add bullets, add more shapes. We can change the layout. We can change the color, which we're going to do. We're going to change it to this weird variation. So green is a bigger number, while red goes to smaller or whatever. We then can change our style of the pyramid give it this cool little outline, maybe make it look a little 3D, like it pops off the page, which we are gonna do. So if you click right here where there's more, there's the more tab, we could see it gets more extensive with the 3D, which is one, one of the settings that we are going to use. We're gonna use sunset scene, which looks right there. But for now, before we do that, we are going to change the font of the text. You can highlight the text on the left-hand section right here and right click and you'll be able to just instantly change the font as well as the font size. So we're gonna choose something that looks pretty nice. There we go, that looks good. And then we're gonna change the font so that way that five doesn't look like it's just taking over that top section right there. You can also drag any of these triangles and extend them and make them a little bit larger if you wish, just in case the text that you put in a top layer needs more space. We're also gonna outline our triangle, just like you saw right there. Go back to more, and then change it to sunset scene. And there you have it. That's how you make a triangle. At any moment, you can just select anywhere else on the page, pop, and it's ready to go. Press enter, start typing. Thanks guys for watching, I hope this helps. And like I always say, it's simple and easy.